last week then, aren't we? When I went to the pub on Friday, hey, you know, so I've not been back in, I've not done anything else. So, uh, we had a good weekend actually, it was nice to get away, went to Hardwick Hall with the kids, and some Sunday lunch with Craig, and uh, the rest of the family, and it was a real steady weekend. It was nice to have it off and recuperate a little bit. Well, I probably drank too much beer considering I also had a session on Thursday with the beer festival. Never mind, I feel all right for it. So let's crack on today with the handrail and uh, all the safety side of uh, this cold room build. So we can start putting stuff up there without running the risk of falling off. And then once we've done that and got some equipment up there, Created some more space down here. Then we'll begin the insulation on the inside, but maybe not for a week or two yet. So we don't really have the funds for that after spending all the money on the timber. So we'll have to wait until we've sold a few more pints of vacant gesture to do that. Uh, but in the meantime, I can get on with getting the steel rack and everything else back up. So no time like the present. Let's get on with it. Chaps, I've got a lot done this morning. Do really tied up the workshop behind you though, it's looking a real mess. So if you're a keen, uh, enthusiastic viewer, you will have noticed that uh, I did a live stream yesterday. In fact, I've just done it. And uh, we left a little bit of a, a little bit of a teaser. So we've already installed the staircase, that side of the cold room. But look at this. Doesn't this look good? I mean, I think that is where these tanks really need to be. So if that's the case, then I really need to th rethink where the stairs are going to live. You see, it's perfect because it gives us a cathedral of steel on both sides. Although that's timber clad and that ain't. But never mind. It will be timber clad eventually once uh, we've finished working on these tanks. And if I just sneak round to the back of them, well, look what we can do here. We can put the staircase in here, pretty much where I'm standing, take us up onto a level where we can get into the tops of the tanks, all the way down to here, where we put a second section of the staircase to take us up onto the mezzanine. It just feels so natural, you know? Maybe even put a 45 on the stairs and come up this way and then up there. Who knows, who knows? But I think this feels better and it gives me somewhere to put the steel rack back on the wall. You might think, how are you gonna get your steel onto it, Harry? Well, the shut doors are straight behind us. So we just have to lift up the rollers and as you can see already, the steel just comes straight in and we can slide it in and onto the rack. I mean, I know I often do things and then later on I think I could have done a better job. And this is one of those occasions where I think that before we progress any further with this project, I need to make a slight modification on that staircase. All I've done is built a landing and cut a piece of ply 700 square. Half a dozen screws, 10 quid's worth of timber for this mistake. It's a pretty cheap mistake. But if I clad all of this and put it to bed and then decide that I want to do this after we've clad the cold room, 
I'm gonna regret it. So I think we're gonna tear the staircase out, chop it up and refit just over there behind, behind the tanks. I also like the idea of having these steel cabinets this end you see. Uh, 1954, one of these has got a plate on the back. So they're 60 years old plus. So uh, yeah, both of these steel cabinets this end, I think that'll work perfectly. It'll still allow me to bring a pallet of grain down here, have this as the grain area. It's away from all the fermenting area, so grain dust isn't going to contaminate it. If need be, I could drop a door on here in the future, but I don't think that's going to be required. And you can see all I'm losing with the staircase is just that little bit of a landing. All we have to do is basically chop it along there where I want it and take it to the other side and put it back on. Piece of cake.
So apart from the place being a bomb site, we've freaking nailed it. Let me take you off the tripod and give you a bit of a tour. We chopped the steps. There's the first section. And there indeed is the second section. So that's given me a nice area of storage space under here. Put a shelf or something in there. Not bad, not bad. And we've got access to the tanks from the rear. And of course, perfect working height. Which actually, because of the way the building slopes towards that little drain, gets better as we walk down. And then up the second set of steps. And we're up on the mezzanine. I think that it certainly feels like a much more natural approach to come up the stairs and we've doubled up by having the stairs also act as access to the tanks which means I can start getting these tanks uh, commissioned quicker than anticipated hopefully next month or so but they're not at the top of the list because I'm brewing enough beer for the pub in these little beauties. I'm just not brewing enough styles. Uh, but yes, anyway, let's come back to this for a second. So again, now we've got the access to the electric box a little bit easier. I'm gonna put these two uh, steel cabinets against this back wall once I've put some timber on it. If indeed I do, I will do probably. I've pretty much used up all my uh, sheet stock in terms of uh, three quarter inch ply but I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed that we've we've killed multiple birds with the one stone today. Yeah I think it's gonna work nicely and this is the bonus. Uh, I've got a new steel saw to mount here so once we've got that steel saw mounted in there it was sent to me by uh, by Evolution Source, so then we'll be able to put a wall up here to back this section off, and we'll be able to work in here to cut steel and isolate it from the rest of the brewery, and most importantly, isolate it from the timber saw, because cutting steel creates lots of sparks, and as we know, sparks and timber create fires. So I'm gonna separate them totally and uh, have a nice little flame retardant area over there to uh, do all of the choppy choppy and that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm not doing a very good job of holding this camera today. It is getting on a little bit though. Oh, look at that. It's a quarter to seven. I better wrap it up, folks and uh, make sure that I've got enough gas in me tomorrow for another vlog and we'll see you then. Cheers.